Hello, and welcome back to Sarah's Sparkle Yarns. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to my channel, and drop a like if you happen to like these videos. I try to get one out at least once a week, whether it be a vlog style like this here, or if I've actually um, made something and filmed it, which I did actually make something and film it recently, which I will show you that now. So the footage that I filmed will be featured at the end of the video here, but remember that teas water and bamboo roving that I received in the mail a couple weeks ago and dyed up. I blended it in with some sparkly Angelina into these roll legs here. And they are so pretty and so soft. I cannot wait to spin them here. And then I had some extra and I thought it'd be cute to make these teeny, teeny, tiny little fiber beans. And this is Miss Fiona here. I got Mr. Cash up behind me. They are sweet kitties when they're not being kitties, as you know. So here is one of the roll eggs. Hopefully you all can see this pretty well. My plan here is to spin this into a two ply because along with the row of the Teeswater locks, which is the whole reason I even got the roving, was I had these locks which I dyed up in these pretty colors here. Now I did not actually film the, the um, dyeing of these because, well, I was just doing a lot of other stuff at the same time and it wasn't very like too interesting to me. I mean, I just put some yellow dye in and then sprinkled some of the fuchsia on top of it. The cool thing about the bright yellow of the jacquard and the hot fuchsia mixing together, it makes this really nice orange. And I found that out when I dyed up some yarn that I used in a project a couple years back. So I'm going to gently um, pull these apart when I go to spin it with this. And somehow I'm going to spin some of these locks into the finished product. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. I've never worked with locks before, and that's like the whole reason I decided to pick some up over Christmas. Oh, ah, uh, <laughs> I found something cool. It's like, it's just a speck of bright pink along with that orange. Mm, I just love it. It's going to be awesome. So with the whole dyeing thing of these locks, um, I'll have a photo of the original dyed yarn um, inserted around here someplace. But I didn't like how, well, y'all remember that like zebra gum? That's what this original yarn that I dyed up long ago reminded me of. But I'm like, what am I gonna do with that? It's all funky color. So I just decided to over dye it with like a, with a, some gray and black. I don't know what percent. Again, I was just doing the, the things while I was doing all the dyeing and everything. So I was like, being safe, wear a respirator, or a dust mask at least when you're working with dye powder, at least up until you stop using the powder portion. When it's all mixed into the water, it should be good, but be on the safe side, wear a dust mask. So yeah, I just dyed this, over dyed it with some black and gray. And uh, yeah, if you hear that, a load of laundry's done, or it will be once I go swap the loads. So this is, this yarn, I should say, it's um, some, I purchased this from Knit Picks, I believe, really long ago. Oh, it's, um, I think it's Stroll Fingering with the Sparkle or whatever. And this is Stellina that's you can see in the actual yarn itself. And so, with it being over dyed like this, I think it'll be more conducive to some other projects like, um, I think I might have some black sparkly yarn or something somewhere. I'll, I like knitting stuff together in, make it like double knit and bigger needles, chunkier yarn, goes much faster. Gets done, everybody's happy. And so yeah. Well, with like the um, extra cashmere that I found, 
Um, again, at the same time, I decided to use some pink that I had lying around once I exhausted the dye pot with this previous yarn I mentioned. And it's at first it's like hard to see, but at the very least, this yarn got a nice steam bath to kind of help straighten out and soften it. But in person, I can see the difference from the original yarn. And I actually did get out my scale last weekend. So if I remember right, this came, this whole amount of yarn came to approximately 5.3 ounces. And this is practically lace weight, if not very, very light fingering. So there's a lot here. And that's a good thing. And because I was just going crazy with all the dye pots. So this was some yarn that I received as a, I don't know, a gift or a freebie with some fiber I purchased like almost a decade ago. And I just never had a use for it. It was like, it was a nice purple color. And so I decided to, again, over dye it with some dip dyeing and made it this kind of a dark purple and blue color. I really like that. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. But it'll come out to do be something. I know, I'm going pretty quickly. So, I, had, I just posted this to Reddit, but I'll have to put a um, photo in of all these. So this is the current status of the big rainbow spinning project that I uh, was talking about a couple times before in a couple videos past. And it was, um, once I just finished up were these two here. So this was a lot of orange I had left over. And this is mixed in with some, it, it literally is some, uh, I want to say it's like coral color. It's mixed in with it. There's some of straight coral color that I'm about to spin next, unless I spin something different. And it's Almost hard to tell, but you can kind of see it in the photo that I'll include in this video here. And if not for the fact that, well, you can kind of see some pink Angelina just ever so slightly in there, but also there's less of this. So this ain't getting gonna get confused too easily as long as I, I don't know, have a brain fart or something. <laughs> and the one last thing that I got, I purchased, finally came in the mail like three weeks later. It was just, it was getting lost in the um, regional shipping facility. And I purchased this bat wool mohair from Abby's Angora Art. I'd actually have seen this seller for several years and I've had them in my favorites on Etsy. And I decided, let's just, I. I got some money. Let's buy some fiber. So this is a lovely, it's the colorway is winter seas. So it's wool, mohair, and it doesn't say on here, but I remember when I looked it back up, there's 3.9 ounces, so almost four. And this this lovely like evergreen and brown color. Now, because I you know I love sparkle. I thought about like taking some of this and reblending some sparkly Angelina into it, but you know what? I think I'm just gonna keep it the way it is and spin it into a three ply. Unless maybe anybody has some ideas of maybe I should do a two ply or something. But I'm, I'm kind of partial to three plies for the most part. And I'm thinking of using it maybe in a project with some other yarn and the other yarns that I'm thinking of using it are three ply. So I might want to stick, keep it as a three ply. So yeah. And then my ideas, I'm kind of still coming up with in regards to the two pounds of fiber that I'm thinking about doing a sweater combo spin this year. The colors I'm thinking of, I'm gonna stick with like grays and blacks for the majority of the dyed fiber, but I'm definitely gonna see if I can throw in some pink, blue, and purple. And maybe some bright green or something. We'll see about that. We'll see about how that goes. I might just um, test dye that on some of that uh, one pound of the Merino I just purchased. But, and, once I decide on that, I'm going to film the results and 
keep you all updated. So anyway, the just before I started filming this, I checked and I'm currently sitting at 89 subscribers and thank y'all who have stuck with me. Like I only started posting again recently, like as of say, uh, last week or the week before. And I'm like, I can't believe I've still gained subscribers, even though I had that like almost two month hiatus. So thank y'all. And if you're watching and haven't thought about it, I, I made it really easy down here in the corner. You've probably seen it. There is a little watermark and whether you're on PC or mobile, you should be able to probably click that and there might be a subscribe button. I actually haven't tried it myself to see what it looks like, but that's what I'm told that it does. So anyway, leave a comment about anything that you see here. I'll take questions, anything. And another thing I'm thinking about getting a, some inspired merchandise created and put together and maybe listed on a uh, Teespring because I would totally love to actually have some like shirts that say cool stuff or a hat or something just to, you know, wear around and maybe y'all would be interested in that too. So let me know what you think and until next time, bye. <laughs>